Welcome to the tutorial on aerodynamic analysis using ANSYS Fluent. This video gives a step-by-step -step procedure to predict the drag force and drag coefficient of a vehicle. Also, you will learn to compare two cases using CFD post. OK, follow the procedure to create a new CFD project in ANSYS Workbench. Steps to be performed Let's create a simplified geometry of a vehicle using Design Modeler. Extrude the created sketch to create a 3D geometry of a vehicle. Create a supporting sketch to cut under the vehicle to make the tires somewhat realistic. We have created the geometry of the vehicle. But the atmospheric air, which flows around it, is our interest. So, we have to create a geometry, for air domain, around the vehicle geometry, using the enclosure option. Actually, we don't want the vehicle's geometry for our analysis. Let's subtract it from the enclosure. Close the geometry and go to the next step, Mesh Generation.
Giving appropriate names to the boundaries helps to identify the surfaces influent. Naming the surface of the vehicle is very essential to calculate the drag. Here, we are not very serious about the quality of mesh, but it matters in real analysis. You can change the units from the general tab. Actually, the vehicle is moving at a velocity. Here, we have to specify that the air is moving at a given velocity. You have to give some more details to calculate the drag coefficient. Otherwise you can calculate drag coefficient using hand calculations. This is the frontal area of the vehicle. Create a monitor for the drag coefficient so that you can check the convergence of the drag coefficient.
get a report of forces, to view the drag force and drag coefficient. This is, the drag due to pressure forces, and this is, the drag due to viscous forces. Similarly, the coefficients of both the pressure drag, and the viscous drags, are here. And, this is the, overall drag coefficient. We have computed the drag force and drag coefficient of the vehicle. Now let's compare the drag coefficient of similar vehicle, with top deflector. Now, repeat the same procedure to find the drag force, and drag coefficient. Yes, as we expected, the drag force, and drag coefficient are reduced as the effect of the top deflector. Let's see the streamlines of velocity on the vehicle body. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.